What's up, Collectiverse? Welcome to episode 27 of the CV Show. On today's episode, we're going to talk about what is with the lack of movie-based statues being announced by Sideshow Collectibles so far in 2018. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 27 of the CV Show. Today we're talking about what is with the lack of movie-based statues by Sideshow Collectibles. My name is Richard Melbourne. Um, today we're joined by three other idiots. How are you going, guys? This is um, Mr. Bong. How are you doing? Hey, man. How you doing? What you uh, should, should, wait, you want me to say more? Yeah, I want you to say more. Give me some give me some more info. What's going on? What are you up to? I've got like 20 minutes left and then I gotta pick up Alex, man. You gotta pick up your girlfriend <laughs> in 20 minutes. Okay. Rick, how you doing, mate? What are you up to? Fantastic. And Johnny, how you doing, mate? In the bedroom. I one? am absolutely pucker. Absolutely pucker. Wait, wait, your asshole is puckered? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you want to do it, you can, right? <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. If you don't, by the way, Johnny, when you come off, you've got a revenant situation going on with the bear behind you. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> don't, don't mess with my bear. My bear will fuck you up. <laughs> so that's who got you 24D. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're talking about. There's been so many statues released, which we talked about yesterday, but. What's with the lack of movie-based statues? Seriously, we used to sideshow bringing out movie-based statues, but there's been Black Panther, there's been Deadpool 2, there's been Affinity War, there's been Solo, there's been uh, Last Jedi, there's been Justice League. So many films have come out, we've not seen one statue announced from any of these movies. And I want to know, why? Why Is this because of box office? Is it because of their likenesses and how people portray their likenesses or is it some other reason so first i want to go to rick i want to know what rick thinks why we haven't seen many movie-based statues coming from sideshow collectibles in 2018 yeah this one actually really does puzzle me because i was expecting i guess in my mind i like star wars so i was expecting when the last jedi was coming out i was thinking okay i remember when rogue one came out we had rogue one statues waiting right I mean, yeah, much, you could yeah. see you could see Jen Erso, you know, which I ended up getting because you know, everyone knows I'm I have some weird sick obsession with Jen Erso. It, it it might be clinically like some kind of a problem I have, but I have it. <laughs> it's pretty much cool. I don't know what how to explain it. I just love her so much. But anyway, that's beside the point. I was expecting some Last Jedi stuff, um, and I was really shocked because they didn't know how the movie was going to be received. I mean, you you make these you get these things ahead of time. You start planning them. You're planning for the movie release and all that, and then it's like we see nothing and it's like okay the last well, last jedi stuff that comes out the better it is for the rest of us <laughs> well i listen i disagree but i'm gonna go ahead and continue thank you very much bang bong um <laughs> so what I'm, what I'm gonna talk about is okay so they didn't make any last jedi stuff which i i understand mixed reviews people like bong have a problem with it and other people do as well but then we started seeing like these marvel movies are coming out and I, they're doing well so it's a little bit shocking. I think Infinity War was kind of the more shocking one to me. I'm not a big fan of the movie, but it's a huge success. And I don't understand why we haven't seen them capitalize on this. Black Panther, pretty, we haven't seen any. Yeah, and Black <laughs> Panther, we haven't seen any. Deadpool's going to be a hit. Uh, people are going to love it. I don't understand what's going on. Unless that Deadpool statue is not the Deadpool, but the Cable statue. That they'll probably make a Deadpool if they make a Cable. But I think the Cable, What if? It, I don't know if it's comic or not. I don't know if anybody's even said but it's coming out, so it's weird to me. It seems like a missed opportunity. I, why would you not capitalize on the success? People could say, well, they don't do well with face sculpts, and sometimes they don't with the movie pieces. Some of them are, but it seems like they're, they were starting to get some improvements in that area. Um, I, I think I've seen some pretty decent ones lately, so I don't know. It's a little bit surprising, so I'm not really what sure what... I think I think that there's something in the background here. Yeah, I can't yes, that's called a crying baby. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah, just mute, yes. mute yourself, Bong. Um, until until Bong, maybe. Okay. Yeah, basically anyway, he mutes himself, mutes himself and hang out. <laughs> just mute yourself, mate, until we. Wait, how do I do that? On the that screen. Like, that sounds like screen? me when I wake up in the morning. So you got a little um, microphone symbol. Just click on it. Technology. I usually have somebody else do this for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just click the microphone symbol. Okay, cool. So back back at it. Um, I don't understand what, what the deal is. I think it's a missed opportunity, but, you know, Sideshow's been putting out a lot of comic pieces, like left and right. We've seen, like, I mean, I don't know how many this last week I've seen alone, just DC pieces. So it seems to me like maybe they're shifting away from that. And... 
I would be a little bit disappointed if they did because I feel like there's a need for those in quarter scale. Not everybody likes hot toys. You know, not everybody wants to get all the latest uh, uh, movie hot toys. Some people want the quarter scale statues, and Sideshow's been the place to get that kind of stuff. So I'd, I'm actually starting to worry that we're not going to see any this year at all. And that's a little bit concerning to me. So I I don't know. What do you think about it, Johnny? Well, the, my, my theory on it is, it is that, you know, the Sideshow's movie stuff, it's not their strongest stuff. Their comic stuff is definitely the stuff that sells the best for them. So I understand why they'd want to focus on that. Like all these DC announcements. And now I think Monday, there's supposed to be some Marvel announcements. So whether or not they've been yeah, announced yeah. or not, I don't know. Yeah, X-Men, yeah. But I, the, there's talks of a juggernaut, uh, which would be just amazing. But I think the main thing is, I think if I'm completely honest, I think particularly where Infinity War is concerned, I don't think Sideshow have the license for it because Iron Studios announced that they were doing quarter scale stuff for Infinity mm -hmm. War. Quarter so, scale? I haven't seen the quarter scale announcement. They've, they've, not, they've not made anything for it, but they did announce that, you know, their legacy stuff that they did in the, um, the Civil War stuff. Mm -hmm. how, did I, how did Iron Studio outbid Sideshow? I, I don't know. They're, they're doing oh, amazing work with their 110 stuff, and, yeah, and they're all movie based stuff. So we are getting movie, killing it. We are getting movie based stuff. But Sideshow aren't doing it. I think maybe Sideshow are starting to go. You know what? It's not our strong suit, so we'll we'll let somebody else deal with it. Do you think? Okay. Do you think the Wonder Woman was a bit of a breaking point? That Wonder the Woman only breaking point was her face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. That Wonder Woman was just terrible, yeah, and it was it was, it was proven in the fact that you know there was that picture that went round. It went viral in the Facebook groups of somebody had took it, stripped all the paint off it, and completely professionally repainted it. And it looked so much better. You know, the sculpt was, I mean, it wasn't exactly like Gal Gadot, but it was damn sight better once it was painted properly. But that, that's a production problem, not really a sideshow problem. And I've spoke, I have, I have spoke to sideshow, sideshow on this, and they said that that was a bit of a miscommunication error. But it was a sideshow problem because their prototype was still I completely agree. miles off the mark. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think, yeah, we, we had, the, I, I do think potentially. They've gone, you know, it's not our strong suit. We need to go back to drawing board to start again. Because I have to say, that Princess Leia that they released a couple of weeks ago, my God, that looked so much like Carrie Fisher. That was amazingly oh, good. Especially when you take a look back at the other ones they did, their Luke Skywalker wasn't quite there with Mark Hamill's no. face. Their Han Solo piece. It What, then he's Quaid? Yeah, but the biggest <laughs> thing that I find so strange with that one is they did that Stormtrooper premium format. It looked a lot better. Right? had an exclusive Han Solo face, and it looked That's closer weird. to Harrison Ford than the actual Han Solo piece did. Like, I just don't... I never... I did not understand how they did that, and how they managed to get that better on a figure that wasn't even Han Solo. I don't think Sideshow know either, to be fair. No. <laughs> well, honestly, I think, I think Sideshow... It wouldn't surprise me if they've gone, you know what... We sell better with our comic book stuff, so we'll stick to that stuff now. Yeah, I think they'll still do sideshow. Um, I still think they'll do Star Wars. I mean, they love doing their stormtroopers. I would not be surprised if we get the the red, the Praetorian guards from the Last Jedi. If we get anything from the Last Jedi, that's probably going to be all we'll get. But to be fair, isn't there a market now? There's a missing link for these movie based pieces because who is doing these bigger scale movie based pieces now? Prime Marvel Studios. But they're not. What are they doing? They're not doing any movie-based pieces now. What they are the the Justice League? That's it. No, oh, I yeah, but if well, Iron Studios, do... Iron Studios did do the their legacy scale. Mm -hmm. or, is it legacy scale? Yeah, yeah it's like they, like I've got it back there. Like they're awesome yeah, pieces. Vintage. I mean, yeah, I mean, and this is the hardest thing so that Sideshow more, could have done. It's so much more accurate than what Sideshow did, or that, what they could ever do. I mean, Sideshow they pump out these <laughs> Iron Man pieces, and you know. People pick those Iron Man pieces but, apart. But having seen Deadpool 2... There you go. Having yeah, right. seen, having seen Deadpool enough. 2 now, I think Cable would be great as a premium format. The amount of tailoring that goes into his outfit and stuff like that with the teddy bear and with the actual layers that he has, I think it would it be It would great. be good to see, but do you think Sideshow are actually capable of getting Josh Brolin's face right? No. You know, I think no one's capable of getting Josh Brolin's face. Even Josh Brolin can't get his face right. <laughs> so, I, I, to be fair, but they've got to try. You can't just give up and be like, well. Yes, we you did, can. We did a crap Wonder Woman, so we're giving up. 
But if they've not got the artists that are capable of recreating those faces, got, got, then got, why would they try? They've got hard bottle. What are you telling me they can only do like comic book stuff? They've got Martin Canal. You tell me. Can I think I think it's not their strong suit. I swear to God, if they do a cable, it's gonna come out looking like you. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to say that I look like I'm from the future and I've got a bionic eye? Because I do, have, I do have a different ugly, eye, dude. but that is below the belt, bong. <laughs> <laughs> Bon, what do you think about this? Do you think that Sideshow are uh, on purpose keeping back from doing movie-based pieces, or do you think this is just a bit of a slump in the movie-based lineup? I mean, I think if it is on purpose, it's the smartest thing they could have done. We keep on saying collectors should focus with all these things coming out. Companies should focus as well. Even if you have 80 yeah. licenses, doesn't mean you should actually do 80 different statues. Yeah, but, focus six, on but six films in a row, they've not done okay. anything. Okay, six films, but I mean, who are you going to make from Infinity War? I mean, yes, for you know, Deadpool Thanos, 2, you'll, you'll, the Black you'll make, Order, you'll um, make Deadpool, Spider. you'll make Cable. But that's about it. Iron Spider, I mean, Deadpool, Cable, Solo, Black Panther. And then we're going to have episode Killmonger. 32 where you're going to say, why are there so many pieces out there? I can't collect everything. But you know what? Man, maybe not everyone wants to, co to, to to buy comic pieces. Maybe people want movie-based pieces. I would love a Killmonger. Do you know what? I'd love imagine, a Killmonger or I'd love a Cable from Deadpool 2 or I'd love a Thanos from the movie. Imagine, though. Imagine that we're sat here right now talking about this. Obviously, we're and not... And drop a Cable tomorrow. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Like, by the time this has gone live, there's been like, oh, we're going to make uh, Infinity War Thanos. We're yeah, gonna make I know. I, I did think we're about We're going to make Cable. Like, Shit, we're making another Predator. <laughs> we're going to make another Alien. After seeing the movie the other day, I would love a Josh Brolin premium format just because of the tailoring. I think that we're due a Ryan Reynolds Cable, uh, Ryan Reynolds Deadpool. This has yes. to come out of yes, one we definitely need that. someone. Would you a Ryan Reynolds Deadpool? I don't see Ryan Reynolds but, being a bit of a pisser about licensing, about his image or anything. I can pretty see him giving it up pretty But quickly. that one, that one I think Sideshow would do well because it's an outfit. They don't have yeah. to do his face. And even exclusive face, unmasked an face. EX, even if they did an exclusive version of his face, because it's so messed up, I think Sideshow would be would be able to do that. But I'd take a Killmonger and Black Panther in their outfits. I don't give a shit about an a, a, a exclusive face. You know what I mean? I just want them to be there. I want a statue of Black Panther and Killmonger. Like, I don't see how it's such a problem. Like They've not even done an Iron Man from Infinity War. They've not even done, you know what I mean, a War Machine from Infinity War. They've not done anything. There's been no movie-based statues at all, apart from the Princess Leia and the Star Wars crap from 1970. There's been no new movie-based statues from Sideshow whatsoever. Look, listen. Right, I'm going to scroll over here. No show. Because there's been no show from Sideshow when it comes to movie-based pieces of any decent movies that have come out from Star Wars or comic book in the last 12 months. Like, well, Solo hasn't come out yet, so we can't really say anything on that. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, but how many pieces have we Solo. seen announced by Sideshow from movies that have not come out yet? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it seems to be they've just boycotted the entire movie genre. Like, or, they, like we said, they realize... It's, a, they, they, it's a lot of collector stuff. apathy, though. I mean, until Sideshow actually does two or three, four great movie pieces, who really gives a damn? Well, yeah, but there's no market for this now. There's no one-fourth movie pieces anywhere. Like, where are they? Where are we going to get these pieces from? Iron Studios? Well, Iron Studios haven't proven themselves at one fourth yet. I, I will agree the Age of Ultron stuff with the cap and stuff was great, and they did a Black Panther from Civil War. That was great, but they weren't big then. They weren't in the mainstream like they are now. So we need to see something coming out from these movies. I thought it was going to pass us by and there'll be no statues from it all. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Life size BB 8. That's coming. Oh, God. Boba Fett, that. legendary scale figure. You know, they they re, they they do make stuff, but they recycle the same stuff. You know, we've had a load of Boba Fett stuff. Boba Fett mythos figure. Uh, that's, mythos, that's not like movie. Uh, this is all just fucking hot toys. Everything movie based <laughs> on, on their stuff is hot toys. My damn hot toy. But, man. <laughs> My damn hot toy. <sighs> Anyway, guys, uh, I think we can all agree that Sideshow have took a bit of a hiatus on movie-based statues. Yeah, they seem. I agree, and I don't care. Well, but then also, you've got to think. You know, if if you're you got Prime One Studios, yeah, okay, they do one third scale, but they pump out. They do make a lot of movie-based stuff. They did a load for Justice League. Name another. Anything? <laughs> <about> Terminator. <laughs> Terminator. 
Dark Knight Dark Rises, which was like 10 years ago or something. I don't know. To me, Iron Studios seems like they're they're doing a lot of comic book stuff. So mm -hmm. it seems like it's just overlap to me. Well, like my next stuff. thing is this. I mean, you keep on saying about these superhero movies and we're lacking them. We're going to have Infinity War 2 coming out next year. Are you going to do like an Iron Man now, a Black Panther now, and then do another one next year? Like, you've got to focus yeah. on what... But why By not? the time that film drops, you know, they'll be rolling out the pieces for the last film. Exactly. So, I mean, you, you, A, you've got to be ahead of the ball. B, you've got to prove yourself, which they haven't done yet. So, I mean, right now, un until they make a good piece, who really cares? Okay, yeah. guys. Well, that's our opinion on the... Um... <laughs> Bong's got to get to the airport to pick up his lover, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it right there, and we're gonna say, sideshow, please do some movie based pieces soon. We know we have faith in you. Yes, Wonder Woman was a travesty. Yes, I will not sleep with her if she sold it to me. But yes, please just give us some movie based pieces. We would love it. We know your comic book pieces are great. So guys, until next time when we do the series show, there'll be a couple more episodes. It's been great to spend a couple of days with you guys and get this all. Nice to see Johnny back. Welcome back, Johnny. How you doing, mate? You welcome Thank you very back. Much. Good to be back. Welcome the bear back. We missed the bear as well. So, <laughs> what do you mean you missed the bear? I don't think the bear was ever in the last lot. Oh, I've seen the bear plenty of times, John. <laughs> Rick, you're not talking about Rick, that. Bear, I hope you're still collecting next time we talk to you. So, yep, I will be. And Bong, I listen. Get your reach around arm ready. You got a, a couple of days of um, loving fun. We understand that. So. <laughs> You realize if you use a different hand, it feels completely different, right? Mm -hmm.